to teach you how to make a chameleon feeder run cup. Because we in the chameleon community, we have a bit of challenge when it comes to the husbandry of our chameleons. These chameleons are used to being up in a tree and we're trying to take a slice of that tree top and put it into our living room. And so we have to get creative. And when it comes to feeding, it's no exception because chameleons need movement to be able to see that it's something to eat. And if we put our insects in a bowl, the insects tend to not to move and then the chameleon doesn't see it, doesn't eat it, too bad. Doesn't work. And since most of our feeder insects are actually nocturnal, it means that when we put them into the cage on the screen, the first thing that they do is they look for a dark place to hide. So we need to compromise. Currently, the best solution is a chameleon feeder run cup. This is a bowl container that has a vertical climbing wall attached. Insects climb, chameleons eat. And yes, from crickets to superworms to even dubia roaches, they do climb. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple and inexpensive feeder run cup. First, we get the parts. Every household will have different combinations of tools and materials. You're welcome to substitute any of the parts I have here for items and tools which you have. So these are the parts I used. I used a washed out plastic gallon water jug. You can use a milk jug, soda bottle, or any other plastic bottle that you can cut down. Next I have shade cloth. It could be any other climbable surface that you can glue to plastic, but be very careful. Metal screen or material with sharp edges should be used only if you take precautions to protect the chameleon tongues. I just avoid it. And finally, an extra large paper clip to make a hanger out of. The tools I used are scissors, a glue gun, and a drill with an eighth of an inch bit. Step one, cut out your opening. I'm gonna cut out an L shape from the jug. Tip one, leave enough of a wall on the bottom that the feeder insects you use won't be able to climb out. Tip two, allow enough material on the sides of the vertical part so that the climbing insects can't just reach over and grab the side to escape. Step two, drill the drainage holes. So we drill drainage holes on the bottom. This is to ensure that the feeders do not drown or create an unhygienic mess if water gets in. Obviously, keep the holes too small for the feeders to escape. I used a 8th inch drill bit. Step 3. Add the climbing surface. With the first feeder runs I made, I used fiberglass window screening and made sure the edges were all safely glued. Now, I use sunshade material made of nylon as it is softer. I glue the strip of sunshade using a hot glue gun, though silicon would work as well. Make sure that all the edges are glued down so that the feeder insects do not climb behind the climbing material. Step 4. Add the hanging hook. So to get a hook on here, I drill two small holes in the top above the climbing cloth, and then I weave in a bent out paper clip which gives me an easy and convenient way to hang this feeder run in my cages. We just made a cool chameleon feeder run cup. For maintenance, you just have to wash it out after every day. If you would like a PDF of these instructions, I have a link down below. There's also a link for the Dragon Strand bi-weekly newsletter that I write where this article originally appeared. So if you want chameleon-related hints and tips from a professional chameleon caging company delivered to your inbox, you can sign up. As a final note, this is a fun project and it is functional, but it also looks cheap. This feeder run concept was originally developed to help acclimate newly imported chameleons. I needed it cheap, easy to make, and able to be thrown away when quarantine was over. But it ended up being a great solution for any chameleon. And it's still a great solution for people with a lot of chameleons. Though, if you have one showpiece cage in your living room, this is a great project, but you may want to find a more permanent solution. I mean, you're literally putting a plastic water jug in your chameleon's cage. Chameleons don't care, but we do. There are people who have taken this concept and made professional feeder cups that would look good in that living room cage. If you have worked hard on making your cage look good, don't put a cut-up water jug in there. Support the community while you get a nice looking feeder run cup for your cage. I put a link down below of one I like to use. Thank you for joining me here, 
and have fun with this chameleon project.